All right, let's talk about what went down at the Michigan-Ohio State game. This was not just a football game, it was a full-on soap opera with helmets. Michigan comes out on top, but instead of taking the win gracefully, they decide, hey, let's plant our flag dead center in the opponent's field. Classy, right? Because, apparently, a scoreboard isn't enough humiliation. No, we need props now. What's next, a Broadway musical number at midfield? But then Ohio State? Oh, they didn't take it well. No, they said, hold my Gatorade and rush the field like it was a Black Friday sale. Let me ask you something. If you cared so much about your precious field, maybe you should have, I don't know, defended it during the game. You had four quarters to keep Michigan off your turf, but no. Instead, you lose at home and then want to flex your toughness after the clock hits a zero. What are we doing here? Is this football or some bizarre audition for Real Housewives of the Big Ten? And let's talk about the commentators crying about unsportsmanlike conduct as if this rivalry hasn't been a hotbed of disrespect for decades. Did y'all forget Ohio State literally tore down Michigan's banner in the 70s? Or planted their flag on Indiana's field like a bunch of explorers discovering the new world? But now, Michigan does it, and suddenly it's a moral crisis. Please! Spare me the pearl clutching. Oh, and let's not forget the cops with the pepper spray. Yeah, that happened. Apparently, we're bringing crowd control tactics into college football. Imagine getting sprayed in the face over a flag. You've got linemen gasping for air like they just ate a Carolina Reaper. These are supposed to be the toughest guys on campus, and they're falling apart over a little capsaicin mist. It's embarrassing. Ryan Day, meanwhile, just stands there on the sideline like he's trying to process his grocery list. The man literally mouths, What happened? Sir, you're the head coach. What happened is your team lost control of the game, of their emotions, and apparently of the concept of sportsmanship. You're standing there like a deer in headlights while your players are out there throwing hands and losing the fight for the second time that day. And Michigan, let's not act like they're saints here. Planting a flag on someone's field is the sports equivalent of slapping them in the face with a wet fish. It's disrespectful, petty, and exactly why rivalries like this are so damn entertaining. You don't like it? Win the game. That's the only way to stop it. Or better yet, if you're so mad about a flag, maybe save that energy for the actual game next year. So here's the deal. If you want to cry about class and respect, you're in the wrong sport. Rivalries are supposed to be ugly, they're supposed to be heated. But if you're going to dish it out, you better learn how to take it. Both teams embarrassed themselves. Ohio State with their post-game tantrum. And Michigan with their taunting theatrics. But hey, at least it made for some great TV. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to send this video to a friend. Maybe they'll enjoy the chaos as much as I did.